Hi everybody, it's Professor McCutcheon. And in case you missed our first guitar class this week, or if you want a quick uh, review of what we did, we're going to run through that right now. We started with sitting at the front of our chair and propping our left leg up a little bit so that your thigh is slightly inclined, slightly going uphill to your knee. Then your guitar, the waist of your guitar right here, sits right down on your thigh, mid-thigh, halfway out to your knee, and then the lower bout of the guitar, this big area, goes down between your legs, and the guitar tilts up like this so that the upper curve here touches you on your sternum. And then the guitar leans back, you put your right elbow just behind the corner, let, let your hand hang out in front, and let the weight of your arm just Hold the guitar back against your sternum and your two legs. Now your body's all around the guitar's body, and it's stable. Not only is it stable, but you'll be able to play all your chords, including those bar chords, like we're going to do in rock and roll, maybe by the end of the semester. Now you can play those with a straight wrist. So that's great. And then once you're holding the guitar, we, uh, the first thing you do with your left hand is make a duck bill. Straight fingers, straight thumb. And then you slide it up on the neck like this so every finger touches every string. That's a good thing. Wiggle finger number one, finger two, three, and four. If you play piano, these are different finger numbers because it's one, two, three, and four. So your thumb is also flat on the back. All right, so take your hand off. First thing you do, duck bill, slide up. Every finger is flat, and on every string, your thumb's flat on the back, touching near the distal joint. Then, we're all flat. Pick your fingers up, point them down. Put finger two on string. Oh, we, we uh, do this. I forgot. We lay them flat curl up, put them all on the first string. That's the one closest to your palm. It's the smallest string, gets the smallest number. And when you touch, you touch the string close to your fingernail for every string. Lay your, make your duck bill, slide up, curl to the first string, touch every finger close to the fingernail on the string. Then lay them flat. That was string number one. Let's put them on string number two. It's a little hard for me to show you. There's string number two. And every finger is touching close to the fingernail. And you wiggle your fingers apart like this. Good guitar playing is apart. It's funny because your, your index finger, your first finger, leans over. It doesn't point straight into it. It leans over. Lay your fingers flat. Curl up. Put them on the third string. Knuckles apart. And check your second string because you're not allowed to touch that one. Put a finger down on a string with your left hand, it can only touch one string. So you gotta get it up. You don't want them to lean back like this and hit flat finger. Get up, put them on the fourth string, and the fifth string, and the sixth string. Then rest your hand for a second. Duck bill, slide up. This is the nut right here. And the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret. And so the numbers are going higher. And so lay your fingers flat, go up the neck, down the neck, up the neck, down the neck. Then take finger, two, pick your fingers up, point them down at the string, take finger number two, put them on string number five and fret number two. Leave it there. Add finger one on string number one, two, three, fret number one. You are now holding your E7 chord. If you have a copy of Blues for Beginning Guitarists, um, that's your E7 chord. And it sounds like, and if your guitar is not perfectly in tune, we're going to work on that. Get a clamp on tuner at the bookstore and, um, and come to class with that next week. Uh, then take your second finger. That's your E7 chord, capital E7. Move your second finger to string number four, fret number two, and then pick up finger one, 
add finger three to string number one, two, slide it behind the second fret. That's your A7 chord. When you go back and forth, finger two just goes over one string, over one string. So those are your two chords. They're on page 11 in the blues book. Page 13 in the blues book has B7. So I'll lay my fingers flat, curl up, finger two goes to string five, second fret. Finger one goes to string four on the first fret. Finger three goes to the third fret, or the third string, second fret, and finger four goes to the first string, second fret. That's it. So that's your B7 chord. Your 12 bar blues at the bottom of page 13 is your homework. You strum each one of those chords four times. So you strum down with your fingernails like this, and that sounds like this. One, two, three, A7. Good luck, play your guitar every day, and your fingers will start to get some callus on the end, I hope. If they start hurting bad, just stop. Just rest. If your hand gets tired, just rest. Check every string, make your E7. Make sure they all sound nice and clean. If they don't, try to fix them. Okay, I'll see you in class this week. Thanks.